This is a HeadGum Podcast. You know me, season three. Are you ready to go? See. Wow. Wow. <laughs> um, hi. Hi, my best friends. Hello. Whom I love a Hola. lot. Hello. Hi. How are you doing today? You know. You guys both, I'm kind of getting the energy. I'm doing good. I'm tired, though. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how, long, how late were you at last night? Late. We went out to dinner. At, um... At LA's best new restaurant, Bar Chalou in uh, Pasadena. Indeed. That is a fabulous restaurant. It, it really is an was, adorable it really restaurant. It was fabulous. Yeah. The food was excellent. Um, had great desserts. We had we had a few, the the lemon semifredo got that again. It was amazing. But they also had a chocolate like banana thing with like a banana ice cream that wow. was amazing. They had a matcha thing that was really good. Now you gotta and tell you me ate the ice cheese, cream. A little cheesecake. I did okay, not eat You gotta tell cream. me, like, are you fully off the vegan train? Like you you're, you're okay. eating cheesecake. You're eating no. A, I was like I don't pepperoni think, pizza. I don't think they ate the cheesecake or the ice cream. That's why I asked. No, I oh. wasn't eating the ice cream. Okay, but they will eat some like a bite. Here, here's here's where I'm at. Tell us. Europe broke me. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. That's, because yeah. they had only mayonnaise. They had generally only inedible food in a lot of places. <laughs> Being never vegan mind in Europe. In, never mind vegan food. So in order to survive. I had to be flexible. Mm -hmm. Now that I'm back in Los Angeles enjoying my beautiful life here where the food is fresh and abundant and abundant and tasty, I find that I am still let's just I, I think I'm like 85% vegan. Anything I make in the home is vegs is vegan. That just Good is what you. works for me. Yeah. But occasionally if I'm out at a fantastic meal at one of LA's hottest new restaurants, I don't want to feel limited by my by my chosen dietary restriction. You yeah. know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah. I want to enjoy my life and live my life because I can enjoy things in moderation. So I don't really eat meat stuffs. Yeah, but I'll have a little bite of like let's just say maybe there's a delicious bread that has an egg glaze on it. Or a salad that has some Parmesan cheese on top. Or a dressing that maybe has something in it that's not vegan. Right. You're going to accept not, that into your heart. I accept that into my heart. and But I'm still, you know, I'm still relatively loyal to the vegan lifestyle. But yeah. Yeah. Start just a little more saying, in moderation. It's just kind of like it is just, it's expensive and hard and limiting to constantly yeah, be scheduling enough. your life and the lives of others around your dietary restrictions. Yeah, I only like know that. I mean, I've never been vegan. Yeah. And I'm sorry. To I the don't animals, really care to be honest. I'm not sorry to you. I'm sorry to them. Yeah. Um, she says she didn't care about you yeah. um, <laughs> and your that, diet. That's all right. I'm sorry to sorrow a little bit. Our drummer is, is very like adamantly vegan and he That's just But he sad. said that recently he feels like there's a shift. There's like a swing in the other direction. Like for him? a lot of No, like he's not for him, but he's witnessing culturally that a uh, lot of people that were not eating meat are going back. Yeah, but I, I mean, kind of said, yeah. I think it's also I think people are this is just my I don't really know. Mm -hmm. I'm, I hear what he's saying about there being a shift, but I also think there's a shift in the meat eating community to about people eating, eating less, less meat. meat. Mm. Yeah, like, so we're meeting think, in the middle. I think it's a I little mean, meeting in the middle. Oh. Why can't you just meet me in the middle? <laughs> that was uh, such a good song. Mm. That was a good song. Shout out to the who's, who's, shout out to Mary Morris. That's who it was. Yeah, yeah. Um, and Sarah. I who mean, wrote the song. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think. I don't know. I actually don't know. I think it's hard to say because we're just getting older. So I don't actually know what the young kids are, yeah, are doing. Are doing one I think, way or another. I mean, yeah. I think it's also like you and I have talked about this where I don't really feel as comfortable eating. Um, I don't really love the idea of eating like processed meats yeah, in totally. terms of like the fake shit. Because if, to, but that's me like, I don't really want to ingest that if like if I'm gonna eat it, it's like 
what's the real difference, I guess, if other you're than looking the animal. at confusion on my face, I was like just kind of quizzing myself to see that I actually understand what a pro- processed meat actually means. Well, processed we meat, fine, fine. I'm anyone, saying processed but- Fake meat, certain oh, fake meat. It's only like I eat okay. processed meats because I'm not yeah. really eating. That's like spam but that or means bologna, like hot dog, right? I mean, right? Hot okay. dog, yeah, hot, yeah, dog yeah. hot dog is a processed yeah, meat. Yeah, but I know. I'm not thinking yes. that's an organic. But no, no. There, there. I agree that there's something. It's just like how good can it possibly be for you? No, I'd rather to be just eating eat like lentils or, or or to just be you eating like know, wheat gluten. You know what you I'm know what what I mean? eating? Like. Um, I'm gonna disagree. People call it like the hyperfixation oh, meal. God, it's like, gonna be something I hate. No, 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 no. Probably not. Well, maybe. Actually, it has something in it that you hate. Mayonnaise. Yeah, like xylitol. <laughs> oh no, mayonnaise. mayonnaise. Um, uh, the, the tuna salad. Okay, no, this is. What I'm like making? literally She's making marshmallow. I'm a couple mayonnaise years salad. late. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Do you really think that's what I would be eating? Um, I think that let's say you are in Chicago. You're at a family gathering. Someone I'm maybe brings, forced to eat something. Yeah, but you're eating tell us about thing. Uh, this is we're actually okay, perfectly on track. <laughs> Seven to up salad. What we discussed yeah. earlier, which was making this an episode about food. Yeah, and in a way that's totally chill. Everyone calm because down because we're a band. So obviously, we need to be talking about food. 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 That's Wait, what people what, want to know what you're about. Say, I won't judge you. Um, my little judgeful. sister showed me how uh, <laughs> how to judge. make the the TikTok salmon bowl. Oh, that's fine. And it's so easy. And kind of sounds pretty good. I've been coming home. Good for you. I don't know what it is, like, because I don't even know what I'm doing during the day, but I come home exhausted. I'm just bad at like time management. I come home, I don't have time. You're like cooking meals at 11 a.m. for dinner. Well, and I'm I'll not meal... ever doing that. I, I just plan out. I just, I, I like to know what time is. Yeah. You know and I mean? I'm free. I'm in the moment. Yeah. Actually, that's actually one of the things that I struggle with. I think like sometimes the reason I can get mad at you on tour (laughs) or think that you're annoying is just jealousy of like you are really, really good at taking care of your future self. That is what most of my. That's what most of your time is. Yeah. And I don't really do that. Well, it's probably because I have I have suffered in my life. Yeah. Because of not taking care of myself. Right. And would you say that. I, from what you no know, no one of my can life, tell I don't know if you suffering suffered. or not. You might not care. It's like the night, like we had, we had an obligation the day after we went to those Grammy parties. Yes, and so that night of the Grammy parties, I'm like, I don't really want to be going out. Sorry, I had fun. <laughs> no, yes, yeah, Joe no. went home early on the night. Well, I went, I went home at midnight, but yeah. that whole thing, I was like, I'm not going to smoke. I'm not going to do anything because mm-hmm. I know it's not going to make me feel good. Mm-hmm. And what can I do to make it so I am better prepped, <laughs> you know, for the future. Mm-hmm. But that's also me because I've experienced intense shame doing, being um, not prepared. I think yeah. the truth is... Oh, that's an interesting point. I think the truth is, like, we are so codependent that you think you need to be doing no. things that others are that doing. I see it's you guys doing. It's just not true. It's I just, know. you just gotta do you. I don't you care have what you're to, doing. It doesn't, it, <laughs> as long as you... What you're doing does not make you spiritually feel yeah, bad. As long as yeah. you're getting by, like, like you guys won't, you guys don't want to eat microwave meals. I actually don't care. Here's the thing: I I'm don't want to eat a microwave in. meal, but I'll say this: sometimes if you're in a situation yeah. where you want a microwave in your life, let's just say if you have leftovers, mm-hmm. and something. Sometimes I order delivery, and when it gets there, it's freaking cold. Yeah, what am Indeed. I gonna do? Dump it all out and put it on the stove? No. That's a situation that, where you uh, yeah. want a microwave. Yeah, but. I understand that. Yeah, that's just like fuck. How am I, I just what don't, am I gonna do? I would maybe have a microwave if I had more space, but there I also no space. don't. Oh, you don't of, even have one in your house. No, but I also kind of don't like. I don't really think microwaves work that well. Uh, I don't even know what you mean. Like, like when you <laughs> heat up, let's say I'm heating up soup. It can be really uneven. I and know I what you put mean. A three minute timer. I'm like uh, the top of my soup yeah, is actually yeah, crisp. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The underneath is um, cold. Yeah, but you can always make it work. Anyway, I know, but by that time, I'm like, I should have just heated it up on the stove. Yeah, fair enough. Anyway, I'm just saying, like, I'm not, I'm not a good meal prepper. I would maybe like to be slightly better. And when I'm like get in the zone, like for this year that we're home, I think that would be a good goal. I also, just you've care been really about it busy. more. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. You've been busy. That if if I was up to what you were up to. I would be low Eating level whatever you got it. Yeah. Anyway, all that to say, it's kind of crazy how easy that made kind of a fart sound. Sorry, I got distracted by it. 
Um, <laughs> it wasn't. It was my shoe. So she faulted um, <laughs> for the audio listener. Yeah, um, for the audio file in here, it was a fart. It was my shoe fart. Um, <laughs> it's amazing how easy these little bowls are to make. Especially if you're not so like, it's mayonnaise. So okay, that's what it is. <laughs> I mean, it's everyone who's, and everybody who's in a watching this who's on TikTok yeah, everybody is like, likes, yeah, I've seen this. Everybody likes mayonnaise. Yeah, you're just so you're just you're mm. just uh, roasting the salmon. Yeah. You're making the rice. I I do rice. I'm making for, a rice. How, how how long do you cook rice for? I have a zoji roji. Oh yeah, okay. So I'm just rishi. cooking rice on the stove R- for zoji like 18 rishi? minutes. Rishi rishi rishi. I don't know. Rishi. I was looking one up. Recently. I have a rice cooker. My they brother got me, and it fallen. Yeah, is... I would like to get one. Oh, you could get a. You have a rice cooker. You just don't use it. What do you mean? Your instant pot is also a rice cooker. That is the biggest appliance. Like I'm not gonna have that. Okay, out. then get a little. The I love rishi. mine because it's a, a mini cute little one. Yeah. Mine's a mini one, yeah. and it. My brother always describes it as this, but he's freaking insane. He's like every kernel of rice has been like taken care of. Wow, and it's true because it Central. really does. It it's makes, really good. It makes the best rice That's in the world. Awesome. It also makes anything. You can also I, I cook not a things in there too. Yeah, like I'll make um, Spanish rice, where it's like all puree, like tomato, 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 onion, garlic, and like put carrots and peas and corn and shit, and Yummy. cook it in there. And yeah, but it's just rice, salmon, avocado, and then the sauce is like Mayonnaise. soy sauce. Cupy mayo. Oh, well, yeah. Cupy people different. love Cupy yeah. deluxe. Why is that different? It's sweet. It's sweetened. Oh. That's probably why you like it. I like it. It's deluxe. Yeah. And um, for a cake. For, that for sounds cake. yummy. Yeah, it's really yummy. Yeah, that's simple. You know what I actually... Day after day, honey. I was a hater. I love I, I was a little bit of like a Instagram, TikTok recipe hater. I was oh, like, honey. fuck this shit. This is so... Why can't people just like look up the things that they want to make? I've come across a few recipes on Instagram... Like that, how? That were very interesting. Oh. Like what? Speak on it. Like yeah. this week. So, okay. For the past, like, I've had a hyperfixation. What is it about? On a few ingredients that I've been making a bunch of stuff with. Okay. So I've been making. Maybe we could do a hyperfixations episode. Hey, here we are. I mean, it seems like we're going down seems the like path. we're going in that direction. I, I've <laughs> been, well, I'm obsessed with tofu. Yeah. And like different ways Which to cook it. Which tofu? All, Firm or all, silken? All different kinds. Yeah. But this recipe I, I think get into is the best with you know silken. How, wait, they'll tell you also <gasps> about silken too. Wow. Please this, continue. Well, yeah. There, silken, there's a very- I'm my finger. There's a really good video by this this chef named Lucas Sin. Lucas Sin, Is he I work think? for what? what, what? Mr. He, Sin. He has a chain of Chinese restaurants. I mean, you told me about he's, him. He's really great. And he has a video where he breaks down how all the different types of tofu are cooked. And in this video, it's it. amazing. He's like, in the US, people see tofu as being like a meat substitute. So they tend to cook it like meat, mm-hmm. like crisping the sides or whatever and, and trying to get out as much water as possible. And so he That's does like a side by I side. Do it. Well, yeah, I still do that too. And it's still a valid way of cooking it. But he's like, one way to do it is to do that, treat it like a meat, try to get as much moisture out of it as possible. Yeah. And, you know, sear it basically like to get a crunch on the outside, try to get it to, to be, you know, to, to absorb flavor. What oil do you fry your tofu in? Avocado oil. Wow. Yeah, avocado oil has a higher smoke point, and yeah. you don't have to use like a refined, um, yeah, you know, vegetable oil okay. or seed oil. That's really and, erotic, and it's not like carcinogenic in the way like if it's smoked, yeah. If it, I'm yeah, over it's here. A God, I'm so Midwestern. I'm just over here with my canola oil. Done. Damn, canola oil is no, no more good. for you. <laughs> You got, to, you got things. enough money to, to, <laughs> yeah, to switch. Canola oil, you got enough money oil to switch. And vegetable oil, it is good for frying things. It's, don't if you have the option. You're from. You live in Los Angeles now. Yeah, avocado oil. You have good. the option. Just, and those Why so if is you it use, bad? Like it tastes bad. It's or not it's bad okay. For you? It's apparently just bad for you. It's a, it's let your yeah. body like. I learned this a while ago. It's just not good for you. Okay. That's that's what that's what people think. And you should be eating oils that are rich in omega three and omega six fatty okay. acids, olive oil, avocado yeah. oil. They're just a little. It's just yeah, yeah. It's just better for you. But the the other way to cook it, like to cook silken, is to embrace the high water content and embrace like it as something that is not a meat substitute that wow. like has a totally different tofu is its purpose. own thing. And it's like it's its own thing, yeah. which is like obviously honor, honor the, the tofu, honor what it is, what yeah. it is. Or whatever, and both are totally valid ways of what approaching have you been it. Doing? But so the recipe that so I've been cooking tofu in a few different ways, but I've always I've been employing these following ingredients: tahini. Yeah, you mm-hmm. love tahini. Soy sauce. Mm-hmm. I love them together. You'll see. This is yes. they, this is a classic. Sesame oil. 
Mm-hmm. Rice wine vinegar. Yummy. Um, toasted sesame or guess how much sesame? rice wine sesame. vinegar yeah. I bought this week? A gallon? Uh, two, I think three gallon jugs. Hell yeah. Whoa. I mean, that's about how much you fucking need <laughs> because it's so I use rice good. wine vinegar all the time and also I buy in bulk it's with all so my things. It's good. And once again. Go, go <laughs> to, uh, <laughs> sesame seeds. Planning. Go to jaru. Mm, yummy. Flakes. Yeah. So I've been I've been cooking with that shit and doing whatever for a while, mm-hmm. making little tofu dishes with that, or making cold noodle salads and yeah, you've been it, in stuff that. like that. Yeah. Yeah. I've just been I've been doing that. But I came across an Instagram recipe that had all of the ingredients. Oh, green onions, like you know, kind of uh-huh. classic stuff uh-huh. that had all those ingredients in it. But it but it did something that I just was too dumb to think of, which is like eat the tofu. You you um <laughs> gar- garlic and garlic and ginger. You gr- you know uh, microplane yeah. them or whatever. And then you microplane, or or ass. you just you just chop them really finely. You should microplane, or or you <laughs> you microplane. You do mean? this. You should okay. So when you like cook great, dinner, grated. this is great. so different. This is this is this is a teaching moment, not a mean way, but ginger. Good episode title, <laughs> a teaching, teaching moment. moment. So ginger not and garlic, in a mean way. ginger and garlic, depending on how you treat it, becomes more intense, mm. especially garlic. So let's say you chop garlic. Yeah. It's not as intense as when you like microplane it. It releases the oils. I'm, I'm pretty sure it releases. It's either way. It's just more intense. When it has you to use do with like the way. cell structure, right? Yeah, something yeah. Is, yeah. Something so about it's like release. So yeah. it's like if you're actually microplaning, microplaning means like it, a mandolin or something. Yeah, no, no, no. Microplane is just it's just like a cheese grater. It's like a but yeah, it's, oh. it's like thin, long you should get grater one. sticks. It's, it's they're so useful and they're so it's much better than just a cheese called grater. A microplane. And also, yes, everyone be safe with the microplane. I don't think I have. I should. I need to get a new one. I have a pair of gloves that I use when I microplane. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, also your hands will stink, but that's why if you're doing, you don't fingers. have to. Dangerous. But let's. To be honest, I usually microplane garlic and stuff, ah! or ugh, whatever. I do it because you use less. No, no, no. I had the twang. Oh, yeah. You have a cramp. I, I thought tell. it was more. I'm you sorry. know, when I'm talking, I thought that could have been her response to no, it as well. I had the twang. Here's the basically the long and short of my I'm story. Sorry. I was <laughs> using all those ingredients, and I was not doing anything to them. I was just kind of whisking them together in different proportions or whatever. Rami still, still very good. But I this this recipe, this woman who's doing something very smart, heated up. Her yeah. sesame oil, and then put it in a glass bowl with the garlic yeah. and ginger, so that they cook slightly. This is how people also make. This is this is the same technique like, that you make chili vibe. oil. So when you make Whoa. like a chili oil, sometimes people instead you can do and then a chili can you oil. like save that. Can you make yes. a large amount of no, it? No, no, but that's that's what you sexy, do with chili oil. Sexy, Let's say sexy. you want to make a homemade like red, you know, like yeah. um, like chili oil. That's oh, how people do it. Yeah, yeah, you know who it was fucking got awesome. Me. I thought, well, what is the tofu though? Well, um, I, 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 you just basically, it was just different proportions of all of those ingredients yeah, that I named the and, the, and, and the sesame oil cook, cooks the ingredients and then you whisk in the other. That's hot. But it was but really fucking good. What's tea with the tofu? So I basically just like, uh, it, it's like a cold tofu dish. You make this like sauce and then you pour it over the tofu. Uh, the silken tofu. Yummy. And, it and just so you're t- eating it as silken. So yeah. you're that's just yeah. eating, you're eating it. Are you eating it with rice or something no. else? You're just that's, eating tofu. That's a, that's yeah. a thing. People yeah. also eat silken tofu. It's cold. Like, on its own. Yeah, 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 but you know. Cold, it's so good. You know good. where you probably wow. are actually eating it more often than you think? You know when you order Thai food, how you like to have fried tofu? Mm-hmm. That is usually, usually silken. silken. That's how I found out about yeah. it. Yeah. Good. You know, you guys, sometimes taking care of your health can be really hard. Then you have to buy all the individual vitamins. You'll be in the Sprouts checkout line looking like an absolute clown. A fool. With your <laughs> arms filled with big, a big bolsa. Filled with little, little things of vitamins. Wasting a ton of damn plastic, I'll tell you that much. And, and who money. even knows what they're putting vitamins inside of these days? Capsules. Pe- people, I don't even know what that is. People who follow me, Katie, on Instagram may know that I've been on a long journey with like vitamins and supplements, probiotics, and what do, what do you call the mushroom ones? Adaptogens. Adaptogens. Uh-huh. Um, and I've I've really tried to be like a good health girly, but it's hard for me to stay on top of something that even requires just the most so many basic different steps. Things. So what has worked for me, I'm gonna put you guys on to is is AG One. Hell yeah. Um, it's like a powder and. It's really, really simple. I just put it in a glass of water, like first thing when I wake up, mix it up, drink it up, and it's really yummy. And it makes me feel like nourished and ready for the day. I drink it, like I said, I take it, I drink it at the same time as my matcha, and I feel very supercharged. If I'm um, feeling particularly frisky, I'll put AG1 in a small glass of a nut milk, and then I'll take oh. the little, the little like coffee foamer. Yeah, stick, yeah, that's what I do. And I'll foam it up in there, that, and then you can make a deluxe. 
kind of vitamin drink in your home. Yeah, yeah I would I mean, love to know how other people mix their AG1. I, I know I, I know people who do it with a shake simple little spoon. People who shake it. I know people who, who blend it. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. But I'm using my little milk foam. Yeah, you could put it into a smoothie. That's something that I actually hadn't thought of. So yeah. if there's one product that the band Muna recommends to elevate your health, it's AG1. And that's why we partnered with them for... So, 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 so very long. And we hope to continue this, continue, we hope to continue <laughs> this beautiful relationship between us and AG1 dancing into the, into the night. So. Into the night sky floating up. Yes. If you want to, so if you want to try AG1 and get a year supply of vitamin D3, you heard me, and K2, and five free AG1 travel packets, you heard me, a year supply of those vitamins with your first purchase exclusively. Go to drinkag1.com slash gayotic. That's drinkag1.com slash gayotic. Check it out. Honestly, and it's have you had any other hyper, hyper fixations recently? Oh, yeah, we're talking hyper fixations. Yeah. Um, uh, what have my hyper fixations been? Um, let me look at my phone and I'll tell you. Yeah. I think I've been hyper fixate. You know what? I've been hyper fixating on. <laughs> this is so me and annoying. Um, because I annoy myself thinking about it. Uh -huh. I want to create a capsule wardrobe. Oh, which is to say that I want to get rid of so many fucking clothes. Yeah, I need oh. to get rid of all of my clothes. I want to get rid of so many clothes, and I want to. This has been. I've wanted to do this for so long, but I just can't help myself. I keep buying new things that I like. I know, and it's hard. And that also is just kind of our lives. Like we can't really. I keep buying new things know. that I like, and it's hard. And it's fuck. It sucks. But no, it's awesome, and obviously we're so privileged. But I I want to I want to have items that like even even like when you go on a trip it's like okay I have these items this is my wardrobe I want that in my home like I don't want to have as much as many options yeah I, I want to have you like, want to be Doug I want it to be simple yeah cartoon character lifestyle I mean yeah. I think like, that's I think, simple I think that's simple nice. simple simple and then it just makes your like simple, but still I kinda, fly. I so kind of do that, do. but I'm not really looking fly, and I'm just living my life. Yeah, I, 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 it's doable, but I don't really see you as somebody that has a lot of different clothes. I have more than you would think. Like also just from tour and stuff. Like I have, yeah, like for sure. Thi like you know, and you don't have stuff that I also am like. Oh, this will be. This is good to keep because yeah. it's like. Whatever. Yeah, but. I was gonna say like I have now boxes and boxes of like show clothes. Yeah, in my I have attic that. that you don't you don't you don't have. I the can't attic really. To I put can't all the really shit away. But maybe just wear any of that shit again. I'm like, I know. can you get a shed or something? I think what it, well, I, I have boxes get to give away, and then I'm gonna do another sweep. Like I've I've been doing a slow. I kind just of don't like want you to get rid giveaway. of good stuff. No, well, should, I understand. I mean, I think philosophically, it makes. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, there's just like clean, clean, an organized space and an organized, you know, it cleans yeah. the mind. And yeah. also, just like the truth is, my favorite things to wear. I love wearing like a button up with a t shirt underneath. I like wearing a button up with a tie and a jacket, or yeah. like I like pleated pants. Like, I don't really, it's like, oh, obviously, it's good to have a pair of jeans, but it's like, I'm not wearing, I don't need six pairs of jeans. I don't wear six yeah. of them. You yeah. know what I mean? I wear one pair. So I just need, yeah, creating the perfect capsule wardrobe has been on my mind. That's all. And this new water, uh, this this water bottle. I love this fucking thing. Yeah, we got water bottles. This thing fucking rules. I got the big one because I did, I mean, and then yeah, you I- you got the crazy big yeah, one. Yeah, I got which the is crazy pretty big cool, one. But well, but then I watched the flash, SNL skit. That's like- Big dumb cup? Yeah, honestly, don't care. What like, is it? What's the yeah. skit? Well, it's just about like the cup Who being... gives a skit? <laughs> and then it's I kill myself. The cup being like Sorry. a, a, a Too big? symbol of like a certain type of annoying um, ass bitch. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, actually, I feel like it's like like southern or suburban moms yeah. that they're like kind of specifically honing in on making fun of. But low key, I wonder if Heather I has one of these cups. I, I, I gotta don't be care. Honest. I like the little sipping on something. But, but I, I like think, my little straw. You know, what, you know what? I'm gonna say I understand what they're probably trying to get at. I don't think there's actually anything wrong with having a water bottle that you feel attached to in some ways because it's like you're gonna drink more water. Like, Maybe. I want to know, like, the sounds, other girlies who do sense. use the Stanley with the straw, like, but isn't to it me, it makes a, a crazy, it is, isn't it? The Hydro Flask. 
These are hydro flasks, so okay. that's a competitor brand. Sorry, wow. So it's Stanley okay. is okay. big dumb cup. Yeah, Stanley's this big is dumb cup. Big it's actually hot, some sexy slut big, cup. Hot, sexy. This is slut cup drinker. If you drink out of this, you're automatically a sexy so little slut. So if you have the big hydro flask with <laughs> the straw, in a way that's cool and normal, by the way. <laughs> if you have the big hydro flask with the straw, like I find that it makes a big like sucky sound when you put your mouth off of it. Like I'm like like it, like it suctions closed. Yeah, I, I can go get it from my car so that you guys can. I think can, I can imagging. imagine. I think everyone can imagine it. Or why could be the best cool impression? S S F X. Why um, do an impression? Yeah, oh, that's it, pretty good. It was. It's less Sorry, intense than God, that. People it's are like, gonna hate that, including like, you. Yeah, this I'm is really ASMR. It, we thought it was hyperfixation, but it's Mouth actually sounds. ASMR. It's more like. Did you say you've been fixating? How did we get here? Um, you've been fixating on your water bottle. Big slut cup. Yeah. For me. No, that yeah, has I a I'm vision. surprised. This is so big for you. I kind of like it. It's it it but it is the thing of like, okay, challenge. You know? Yeah. I get like it a down. little I like a little task. How like, many I don't, of those I can't do you really... drink a day? A couple. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. But I drink I try though. Oh. Some I, days I'm thirsty. Some days I'm really bad about drinking water. I'll be like, God, I'm so hungry and tired. Yeah. It's like, okay, well, you've had no water today. Yeah, fair enough. Other than when you brush <laughs> your teeth. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah I'm, I can be kind of silly about uh, that stuff. Okay, what have you been hyper fixating on, Josette? Yeah, that doesn't have to do with anything logistical and <laughs> and painful with regards to what business. What have I? I feel like this week I've just been busy. Um, with you. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna let we're gonna say to we're gonna break the fourth wall for a second and say that there are there's private things we can't discuss. Yeah, so there's rich there's lives. kind of a tightrope that we're walking a little bit in season three where we want to let you guys in to what is going on and at the same time we want to sanctify the, the certain processes, certain creative processes in our lives. Just and, can't be announced. And indeed, um, so there are times where you'll have to trust. It may sound that. Uh, there, we're not talking a lot about what we're doing, but but uh, as they say, we're we're moving in silence, and this is us letting you know that we're moving in that silence. we're moving in silence. This it's, is also the episode the, called "Moving the, in Silence." It's actually the it's the micro that matters with us rather than the macro. Also, the, the day to day is, intimate mm -hmm, details mm -hmm. rather than what is the object of the project. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, what is mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. the object of the project? People aren't here to. Yeah. What? Are, what? What are people here been, for? Have you been? Have <laughs> you been? Are you on TikTok? What are you up to? No. No. You're off. Okay. I'm off of all social media. Got it. Um. um yeah, there's got to be other things that you're that I'm hyper fixated, fixated on. on. Yeah. Food, um, food stuffs. I mean, this week has just kind of been different. Different. Uh, a blur. Yeah. Um. Maybe even in the last month, these yeah, people haven't it's heard hard from for us me because then I'm thinking about like what have I actually been doing? I mean, I'm making kombucha. Um. That that I don't know if it's a hyper. I, a hyper I opened fixation. the garlic cabinet downstairs. Oh, and I was like, whoa! Yeah, it's garlic. Oh yeah, yeah I have, mean the garlic cabinet. I, ha I have garlic that garlic. is from. I have two things of garlic. I have garlic honey, and I have a, just a thing of garlic that's been fermenting for over like two months in like the cellar. Yeah, wow. it's it, it's the laundry room, room. You're my little warlock. Laundry room, um, beans. Yerba mate. Here's a little, and yeah, yeah, and yeah. Fermented. beans. You're fermenting beans. No, I, I can. Um, I'm not. I just get. I, I buy. I buy Rancho Gordo and oh, yeah, yeah. and so like, yeah. I'll, I have like maybe like twenty packets of beans Crazy. at a time. Nice. Yeah. What What is the hyper fix? I guess I don't know, man. Kombucha. What are you doing when you're on your phone? Or are you not on your phone? When I'm on my phone, I guess I was looking at um, coffee tables because since yeah. I got the big, you want a new one. Well, since we got the big couch, it just doesn't that the shape doesn't make sense. Have I been over since you got the new couch? What kind of coffee table are you looking for? Two questions. Circular. Can I have your I other need, coffee table? Um, that's not a question for me. It's Kelly's coffee table, oh. but maybe not. I mean, maybe. I mean, I'm saying <laughs> like maybe, maybe not. No, I'm saying <laughs> maybe not. Like maybe. Okay. Wow. But because of how what big other the couch is, do you have? Coming? I'm getting a new table. The I mean, this is table, stuff right? I got so long ago, but I'm, it's all being built. Right. Yeah. Um, right. The dining room. I got a new table and. New chairs, and then I got That's a new so nice. credenza. But it's because it's like all for my the stuff. record player. Uh, no, for for under the TV, but the records can go in there. Got yeah. it. Um, but but it's like all my stuff. Sorry, that's what I meant. Not all my player. stuff is like vintage, but it's like I love that table. The table just doesn't work for that room. It should be a round table. It's also because I'm ethically against square and rectangle tables. If I could choose, my brother said, my brother, I agree with him. He's like, there should be an app where you can book 
only round tables at restaurants. Ah, yeah. I swear it's just to God, really it's hard. I know. It's anxiety inducing, honestly. I lo- a round table makes it so you're not anxious at a table. Yeah, everyone you don't feel can be squared off. Everyone can be involved in the conversation. So I got that. So those, I guess, three things are coming. But so the issue with it's not issue. I become oh, I'm fixated on rocks. Um, what? That's, that my backyard. Oh, your backyard rocks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that I'm like I have to have been something, but. The not issue with the coffee table, like the couch is so big, which is it's wonderful. Yeah, but the couch is so big. Is it um, like a bed? Oh, like, can dude. you like sleep on it? Oh yeah, yeah. wow, it's huge. More than one person could sleep I, on it. I feel like there's been a Legit. movement with couches to like they're second slowly bed. yeah second bed. second bed, but it's also because it is second bed. My ass is on that thing. Yeah, it's every crazy. night there is nothing better in the than world than second bed. Than falling asleep on second bed. Watching you are, you are second that bed. type of but person. But I haven't done it in a long time. I haven't done it in, in years. Yeah, we used like, to do it. I haven't done it in years. You know, last time, you remember that one at time? The, our apartment well, I feel like the house we that you're at now up. doesn't have necessarily second bed. No. Yeah. Like, um, but the, the couch is so big that the room needs, in my opinion, there's, so my dining table is like a, um, a rectangle right now. And to me, it's like the shapes are too um, similar of the couch is an L. And yeah. it's a huge L. And then there's a the rectangle dining table uh, yeah. that thing that it's just like something about it just doesn't. You don't like how it fits. Yeah, coffee table. It doesn't feel right. And then it also it's like I want something that has more breadth to it and I need another shape. So I think um, circular and um, uh, like not not super thick and you mm-hmm. know mm-hmm. is dominating. it clean? what what, what kind of materials co- out of? maybe we can like, trade coffee like, tables um I, I want like metal or or something oh, like i want okay. it to be like black and and metal probably but i'm still yeah, like you like that you like that i'm still like thinking it's because the credenza is wood and then i have like my you know there's a lot of like brown it, i need to not go full just like earth tone kind mm-hmm, of you know mm-hmm, what i mean mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but that i guess that's what i've been hyper fixating on but it's really i've been just dealing with like i've been i've been carrying like loads of rocks into my backyard yeah so let's speak on that a little bit <laughs> <laughs> it's just like it's not interesting what is yeah, going is. on in the back i think the it, deeper what, you zoom in yeah the deeper you zoom in so and we'll move on i guess my hyper Katie, fixation but. always is like i'm a nester and i need my space to feel good. Yeah. That's like my, that's like more than I care about like what like I wear or whatever. I need my environment to feel good. And, and like look. To look good, to yeah. be neat and mm-hmm. to also just feel like it just makes me feel better. Sane. Yeah, yeah. Um, But my backyard, like I, I had just like a bunch of mulch everywhere. Your and, backyard is sloped. Yeah, it's sloped. And I had a bunch of, um, uh, what the f- hell? I had a bunch of um, what's it recession? Um, uh-huh. What the hell is it? I think that might Re- be what it is. No, like when the earth is like um swallowing when you have yeah. like sinkholes. It's not in your a sinkhole, shit. but it, it's because of Remember how much when rain. You thought it was a sinkhole. Yeah, we did. So it went down like in a week. It, yeah, it was here. Yeah, it went down like like two or three feet in a week. So and scary. That I mean, it was kind of exciting, but it was <laughs> insane. Um, but yeah. so I the little thrills so it was just full of mulch but the mulch like I got like two years ago so the mulch was like nothing and yeah. then it just was like muddy because the mulch was barely there anymore and yeah. like I have a dog and I'm just like it You're goes away your fucking... so fast yeah it does and so I'm like okay I don't want to use a bunch of water but I need to I need to take care of this space so it's like I <laughs> I put yeah. a bunch more of that um dwarf carpet of stars like in different pl- patches oh this is like a plant that you can use yeah it's if ground you're an cover. angelino or you're anywhere where you are trying to do drought tolerant yeah it's like, not lawn native replacement that it's a great it the, and it's at almost home there should be an executive hardy. order against letting people in you los angeles have fucking grass yeah, yeah no, it's crazy it is unbelievable but this, is the, this is the issue honestly and astroturf yeah but Sorry, astroturf no, but no offense like if you have it this, but what the fuck is wrong so so the <laughs> issue this is this is the issue and it's because i have a dog that it's like let's say you didn't have a dog you don't need to also so i i wanted to get fucking decomposed granite which is like the yeah the, that's the, what the, i had in my dumb ass but it's very expensive yeah. and it also still becomes dirt over time mm-hmm. it becomes you compact it down it it becomes less compacted but also because i have a dog i'm like a lot of the ground covers that are native 
won't work for me because it's too they're not hardy enough for being able to be like trampled yeah and so i got the dwarf carpet like on the upper part of my house and then i was like okay i need what to are put... the ones that are native do you know um it's like a, a mondo kind of grass like okay so it's, it's a type similar. of grass um I, I I'm think thinking, it's called I thought Mondo. white clover would be good, but I, I mean, also uh, tried I, I planted to plant. I planted clover does, and it, didn't it did take. not take. Yeah, I, um, I think the it's clover because, doesn't take. I think it's because you need Damn, to like y'all. transplant. I don't think you can really do seedlings in this environment. Okay, like to me, at least that's been my. Experience. I kind of want the queers to weigh it. I mean, I don't. I'm know sure how they're gonna. Yet. I'm sure they're gonna say you're doing all stupid. I wish yeah, I could but do. If, you, if you're an LA native gardener queer, honestly, who, come who, be on the freaking who's rating our view. Yeah, come be on. Come work on my backyard uh, <laughs> I, I need to get i need to get my ass back there so so oh i have to tell you about another oh, thing i've been though. i hyper fixated on too oh. well i was just gonna say it's connected to my hyper fixate we, yeah that the, we're going to the backyard yeah i'm, I'm in the backyard too okay so so i planted a bunch of that and then i got a bunch more mulch to cover it up so the the dwarf carpet can be protected and slowly spread out can you tell me where you planted the carpet? like in different places all over my my backyard okay. like everywhere and okay. then in the back two corners i found so my house is like 100 years old and there's like a bunch of i found a bunch of old rocks that had old concrete on them wow. like on the side of my house and so i just have spent like days where i'd pick it up and i built two like sloping <gasps> in the back corner like two just it's it's essentially just like a, a wall of rocks where like i planted Irish a bunch wall? of i don't know what that is <laughs> it's a, it's, uh, in ireland like they built they built a lot of walls with no like, but i mean it's just, just it's just rocks, rocks it's more then... of like a wall for my dog and the rocks to not slip out so i have so in the i'll just when you come over you'll see yeah but I'm um sure i have yet. a bunch of rocks and then i got a bunch of like bags of rocks from fucking you know it's so expensive rocks but i got a bunch of bags <laughs> of rocks from home depot and a bunch of native plants from have you been in the arroyo seco native plant nursery no. in hahamanga park no hahamanga hahamanga you would love it it's all native plants wow. and they're all from um tra- Which plant what plants did you get like some sages and like shit like that sage, yeah. um and so i have those all planted now in, in the corner with like a bunch of rocks but that's essentially what i've been doing and then i also um am just um doing some seedlings wow that i have under like a grow light i want to have like a semi-regular movie night where we watch documentaries that should just be an us thing for when we're trying to do the next record that's but what we I'm do saying. it during the day we should do that's what i'm saying but i want to watch um have you considered making a letterbox account hate to be that kind who is of that bro. what is that or what <laughs> <laughs> Letter- <laughs> yeah, yeah, hey, who yeah, is yeah, that? yeah. Dennis Letterbox was a man who invented hey, who, who is that? <laughs> the practice of cataloging <laughs> movies that you watch into different uh-huh. lists, types of lists. Wait, is this the thing that you? No, this is a different website. What's the other website? The one about uh, that's the artists like um. Oh, like, that's a different thing. Ubu, yeah, Ubu, 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 Ubu is something else. Ubu, Ubu. <laughs> um, Letterbox, <laughs> Letterbox is kind of like a. It's like a okay. It has whoa, a kind whoa. of bad rep, rap, rep because douchey guys are. It's on like it. film broy shit. For some reason but I also, know like that. Pe- some people it's have really funny Scarlet, accounts. And Scarlet Letter. People give really funny reviews of you're movies and stuff. Boy. Public accounts. Yeah, but you're basically, you're a fuck boy. You're a people... fuck boy. You're a fuck boy. You're a fuck boy. I want to fuck. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> you guys, this wonderful video podcast. Or if you're listening just just on audio, it's powered to you by Squarespace. We <laughs> would just like to talk to you about Squarespace's tools, such as the fact that it's an all-in-one website platform for engaging and marketing, growing your your dang brand. Everyone has a brand now these days, and sometimes you have a personal brand. Does that mean that you don't need a website and you just need an Instagram or TikTok? No, you wrong. need a website. <laughs> you need a website. So go ahead and get a .com or a .me. At squarespace.com, you could choose all types of different URLs. You can also upload video content, organize your video library, and showcase your content on beautiful video pages. I've seen, honestly, I have seen some Squarespaces that people have made. Like, you don't have to be a web designer to make a a pretty gorgeous website on Squarespace. So, good job to whoever were the designers of the the actual Squarespace. Yeah, of the the designs. And you know what I will say? 
don't go rogue and try to build your own website. No, you you're no not taste. that good. You're not that good and you don't have any taste. Let <laughs> those people at Squarespace help you make a beautiful website with nice fonts. It's not going to make people slam their laptops shut. You don't or throw always their have to do it the hard way, Christine. Do it the easy way. Christine. Christine. <laughs> Do it the easy way, Christine. We are talking to someone. Really so, specific. Christine, if you're listening to us <laughs> and still want to be friends with the band Muna, head to, go to, check out <laughs> Squarespace.com for a free trial. Can you imagine that? In this economy, they're still offering you a damn free trial. So you can try it. If you don't like it, you don't have to use it, but you're going to like it. So what we're saying is um, that we really think that you should go and give... Squarespace a free trial. It's at www.squarespace.com slash chaotic and you'll save 10% off your first purchase of a Ooh. website or domain. I wonder like what website or domains we should buy that are like tangents of chaotic. Well, Sexwithmuna.com. I'm sure that's already purchased, unfortunately. I really hope someone has. I think you really tr- hope somebody has purchased that. I mean, it shows our success. I I, we need to have circusmeplus.com for sure. Uh-oh. Yeah, we do. What are other biz- fake businesses that we've had? Uh, Toppington's, Remember Toppington's Top, top hats? hats? Yeah. yeah. Well, Toppington's Top Hats was a personal joke, wasn't it? Was that ever aired? Well, yeah. Know. No, no, that was, was aired on, on that season was one. Aired. Is, what's Anyways, here? go to squarespace.com. Bye. Anyway, uh, sorry we called you fuckboy like, in a I, weird, I weird it's okay. sense. I'm, 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 crossing, to yell. I'm crossing my hands now, like the numerologist said, to to, to make sure that I'm not absorbing oh, yeah. any negative we need to energy. Talk about <laughs> numerologist no. hyperfixation. Wait, no, no we well, gotta I'm, do... Guess what? We're guess, gonna have the numerologist on the podcast. I have to wake up to, to see this motherfucker. Wait, when are you doing this? I'm doing it on March 13th. Wow. But guess, guess what time? Just 6 guess. 6 a.m. 4 a.m. Yep. Oh. That's Six. fine. To wake I, up I, or to go there for me. Oh, to be on a Zoom, ready to discuss. No, that's crazy. It she is, lives in LA. No, she lives in New York. She lives in China. South Africa. Might as well <gasps> be China. South Africa. So damn far. Back to Africa, How? as it all is. Yeah, as it all is. Joe went to South Africa. Yeah. That's what. That's, <laughs> that's what, what she's referring to. No, this is all things. Go back and also, to hey, yeah, true. everything does yeah. go back there. Let's just keep it 100. Let's keep it 100. But she is white and yeah, yeah, she's she, in South Africa and she's disgusting. White. Yeah. Is she South African? Yes, yeah, she is. Okay. The, the freakiest people of all time. Yeah. That was, yeah. that was the funniest <laughs> thing about going there is seeing that. I mean, my dad's obviously an extra freak, but um, seeing that. He, co- he comes from a people. He comes from a people. And they're all fucking weird as hell. <laughs> yeah. Did Sorry, you know, what? South Africa. <laughs> if you can, if you could, if you could. Like, okay, when we're talking about different types of, like, crazy-ass white people. Yeah, we need to talk about this one to our <laughs> left, too. Because we haven't crazy talked about white people. Are we, yeah, we'll get, sorry, we'll get back to Kitty. What, no, like, but this, are they, this, like, this uh, is it, like, Australian? No, no. Shout out to all my Australians. To be honest, though, I guess it was, like, I was meaning, the people Australians I was meeting a lot also crazier knew my dad New growing up, and Absolutely. they're also all Jewish South Africans, and okay. they're all from a similar age range Similar. and they all were like coming up to me and being like i'm sorry that you have to deal with him meaning my dad yeah, yeah, yeah but in yeah. a way that uh, he that says is very similar to him yeah that's cute where i'm just like these people just like neg each other yeah. but in the the freakiest way and they're all like yeah like and like they like <laughs> well they wouldn't they wouldn't take their hands off of me the people who like who well, knew him well, that's yeah. and then she like the one lady is like apologized that i look like him and i said i'm sorry as well <laughs> but anyways they're but yeah you know what that's i mean cute. they're all yeah, like yeah. they're just all like I don't know. Seeing his Freaks. context. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. What about you, we Freak? Were, no, we were talking about Letterboxd. Yeah, but you also need to talk about your hyperfixations. I, okay. I Basically, the moral of the story with Letterboxd to close off all our loose ends is that I made a Letterboxd account because the thing, about, the thing about me is that I haven't seen any classic cinema. I You've gotten s- better. I, but it's because of Letterboxd that, I, that I'm making my way through. Wow. So I wonder if you can sponsor. use this website to get... Re- recommended <laughs> kind, kind of well it'll be people will make lists like the most basic version of the list is like i'm just gonna cruise right past that the the most the most basic version of using letterbox is like there are things that are like 150 movies you need to see before you die like okay. that kind of shit yeah 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 so there's that stuff but, but it'll also be like uh sat a uh, sad girl like, like this is so, I, i'm just this is not a real category but it'll be like Sad girl and two happy guys. Like yeah. that, that as like, like the plot porn. device of a movie. Yeah. And there'll be like a list of movies that all have like these certain characters and that really fulfill these things. People make like funny little lists. Mm, yeah. Like 
with like shit like that. But they'll also make like best documentaries of all time or whatever. Or right. like or like edgy art girl movies and then it'll be like, you know, like Wong Kar Wai shit yeah. and like the the decline of Western civilization and just like certain movies that like fulfill people's stereotypes about people's okay. personality. We need I to should get this. It's, it's yeah, just different. We should, we need to I'll start. I'll just give you my account. It's yeah, fine. But we no, but I, start the, we need to, not now, we need to start the journey and I think one day of like the journey is, is, is absolute bullshit. Also just watching <laughs> movies too. I think yeah. there's like, I have, yeah. a, I have a little list going of things I that a good I'd like to watch. I movie it, I mean, helpful. it was crazy, um, but I liked it. Cool. <laughs> cool. That's um, fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Say it again into the camera. It was crazy, but I, but liked, I liked it. it. Wow. Um, it's freaky, but I like it. I watched a movie called The Loveless. It's like one of the first movies that Catherine, Catherine Bigelow directed. Oh, you said oh, yeah. this. Yeah, with the William Defoe. Oh, Willem Defoe. Willem. William. William Defoe. Well, listen, I'm not in the that industry. I'm just a little girl. Yeah, but standing he's on the outside. very famous. Yeah. Um, yeah. That, he's heard, hot. He, I it. mean, he's cool. It's but. crazy. Um, he's like Steve Buscemi to me. Freaky. He is like that, yeah. It's the same guy. kind of like yeah. freaky man. He's freaky in a way that rem reminds me of an ex. Um, yeah, you like freaky. And uh, <laughs> anyway. Which one? Uh, I want to watch the one, Shaka. I want to watch more than, Shaka Man. I want to yeah. watch <laughs> the Judy Sill documentary that's new. Do you guys know who that is? No, She's, I don't know she anything. Was, she was a musician. I haven't been consuming anything other than The Wire. Oh, The Wire. Oh, fucking that's so rocks. good. What's I've been watching? On? I'm on season three. Oh, damn! You guys wow. made great. Oh, it's just watching me. Six Feet. Oh, it's I, just I, you. Kelly has been. We haven't been watching I Six feel Feet like Under. I am not. The Wire even is on season three. incredible. I, I've been watching. So uh, I, I've just Lance been kind of is binging. Lance Reddick. Boom. Shout out. Who's he? On that? Um, R. I. P. The sergeant. Uh. I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, The Wire fucking rules. Have you guys seen? You you would love. I feel like you'd like this. Have you seen Anatomy of a Fall? No. Oh, you were the one who was talking about. Is that. this a movie? Yeah, it's a movie. I struck. Is it I got, scary? It's hard for me. No, I thought I it was gonna be, honest, be scary. It's hard I for thought me. it was gonna be scary too. It's not. You can watch it. Movies. Yeah, it's What's I it about? Have such bad ADHD. It's hard for me to this commit woman, to an hour and a half. This woman. <laughs> it's the lead from. She's both. She's in also Zone of Interest. But I don't give a fuck. I'll go on the record. Best movie of the year. Maybe the best movie I've seen in the past ten years. Zone of Interest is unbelievable. I still but she's see it. she's in that, and she's also in Tony Erdman, which I which I haven't seen. It's on my list. Um, she's a famous German actress and she's the lead in Anatomy of a Fall. Anatomy of a Fall is like a courtroom procedural about this woman whose husband dies in some way. Uh, he falls from, falls or is pushed, we don't know. From great, from, from a great, great height, height at, uh, in a ski, from his ski chalet. They, they, it's this couple, they have a son, the son is blind. Like there's, you know. But he actually can see. He, he yeah. can kind of see. But he can see just. You know, this yeah. sounds dumb. But like, yeah, there's like, there's, uh, he had like a tragic accident in his childhood that led to him being like mostly blind. But he can kind of see if he puts it like really, really. Well, close that's to the face. thing uh -huh. that's so interesting. There are so many different types of blindness. Yeah, I know that sounds so dumb, true. But you don't know. Like, I feel like people make the misconception that if you're just yeah. blind, you just can't fucking see. Well, somebody told. Well, I had an eye doctor that told me like I was halfway. To blind because it holy fucking because shit. Because it's like Kelly. Well, because yeah. it's it blind. You legally blind is like negative eight, and I'm negative four. Damn girl, Shaka. So I'm halfway there. Yeah, you can oh, at least wear contacts. Some people, you know. yeah, and it's stayed pretty good for yeah. A you're while. at the age where your eyes kind of like level out. It's like from Stasis. 27 to like 30. Yeah, but then I'll stop being able to read. It's gonna get interesting. Well, you can get later. the you'll I mean, be able to get the surgery you can get LASIK. if you'd like. Yeah, you could get LASIK. Oh, my mom, my mom had LASIK, but now she's like, she can't. Oh my god! So yesterday, yeah, <laughs> I went to the farmers market yesterday with them, and Louis walked away from. I went with my brother's Louis. Um, he walked away from us to go get an acai bowl. My mom doesn't like to share, oh. like she wants her own thing. Yeah, yeah. If she can, it's and only so, child shit. Yeah, only child shit. And so she, um, she finds out Louis getting an acai bowl. She's like, wait. I tell him I need, I want my own, but I don't want to share. I don't want to share. I'm like, just text him. And so she texts him, and I think she says, 1G sparkles not. Oh, no. <laughs> I looked at Dan, Dana. I just started busting up laughing. She oh, cannot no. see Honey without girl. her glasses yeah. at all. Oh, and this is how, crazy. this is how, when she's texting me, 50% of the time I have to say, put on your it's glasses. It's like, it looks like drunk texting. Well, yeah, it's because she doesn't make any sense. <laughs> and like, and I'm, I say, are, I say, are you wearing your glasses? Yeah. No, LOL. 
Yeah. But she so. can read. That doesn't make sense. She can read the text. Like, I think it's harder for her to do, like, the individual, the typing. like, typing. Okay. I don't think she can read, ex- like, I think it's hard. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, what's up with you? Yeah, what's your oh, hyper you guys fixation? want to hear my we'll hyper Anyway, you guys should watch an Adam Eve Fall. It is yeah. good. You I, would I like will. it. Maybe I'll watch it tonight. I, sh- I suck it's at a, movies. It's I need a, to it's get a, better. Th- there's some good shit out this year. That's a... I, the, that and Zone of Interest I highly recommend. Yeah, really I good. I still want to watch Four Things with Willem Dafoe. Um, um, I, I, well, yeah, my we'll hyperfixation right now is, um, is leashing cats. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, speak yeah, on cat, this. This is yeah, a huge yeah. update, guys. Are you Katie fucking got, serious? Yeah, so I got a cat. Pull up a cat. We're on video. Pull up a picture of this motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> or can we superimpose it on the video? Why don't we do um, like a few slides? I'm like, this <laughs> like, is my let her, cat. Let her pull. Yeah. This is me and my cat. So this is my cat. let's clear this up right away. The cat's name is Button. 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 Not singular. Buttons. Button. Yeah. You could say Button. Mr. Buttons. That yeah. would be accepted. Cute but as a button. I like Mr. Yeah, button, button more than button. And button really, is so dope, I generally do tend to pronounce it like button. Button. So button. Can. Button is Button. so um, sweet. And that was his name at the shelter, so I, I just kept his you name. You honored his, his tradition. Yeah, I honored his tradition. I, I so far have not named any pet that I've had. That's well, awesome. Like, I think that's almost like I'm Abby unable to. Um, yeah, that would have been weirder. They're like, they were like 12. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're like 19 yeah, years old. And you're like, this is my right. You're yeah, I know. It's like they're going to learn a new <laughs> name. Yeah. Unless you were yeah. going like Babby, Babby and Parky. Yeah, like, but like Abby probably... and Sparky were like, that. Like I would say neither of those are like really my vibe no, at all in terms no. of names. And I think it no. got me used to just like, you just accept whatever. Also, like whatever. You, the, I got to be honest, whatever the pet's the animal name, comes with. Yeah, but I call Blue, you know what Blue's nickname, I call, what, DB... Oh, what? Oh no! <laughs> hey, do, do we guys smell burnt toast? <laughs> no, but I mean, like, this is having a pet. There, I think Kelly told me about this TikTok trend where it's like you people talk oh, of their pet's what, nickname what right them? now, and it's like you have to do the lineage. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. how I think it, it just goes. Like, deep, deep. Yeah, it yeah. just goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or Bina, sure. I call her Bina a lot. That's cute. Yeah. Why? That, that actually is a good question. Yeah. Uh, uh, how to word to come from? Blue. <laughs> I don't Bubina. know. Or uh, beanie. Yeah, so far I'm just calling Button like Button and Kitty. Well, it will, Kitty. It, Kitty, I love calling Cat Kitty. Kitty, Kitty Man. Um, yeah, Kitty Man is so, also so cute. I got him a couple of weeks ago only, but as soon as I got him, he was like, he was in the closet at my house for a day. He's coming out, and then he came out, and I'm so <laughs> proud of him. And um, he's really affectionate and really. Um, adventurous, and he he's so from the jump like wanted to go. Awesome. On my shoulders. He's so cool. And dude. so that started get, and like I would just be walking around the house and he would be he wants to jump on my shoulder and like <laughs> ride around the house. So that kind of gave me the idea of like, this would be fun to have like my little sidekick. What if you got like a condor? You know, some people who have like um, oh, yeah, a shoulder pad. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I feel like I would do that. You but probably could buy I, something. But I just don't know a safe way to secure him so that if he uh, jumps down, he well, wouldn't you, you, you have give the him leash. velcro shoes. And you attach a Velcro pad right. to your shoulder. And so right. when he's yeah. up there, he gets stuck. I don't know. But like, yeah. I like the vibe yeah. of yeah. like just being a bitch with a cat on her shoulders. I think that's cool. Um, <laughs> bitch with and a cat. I also, so originally, like, what made me want to get a cat was I have this neighbor who has an indoor outdoor cat. This is the name of Skittles. Most insane who, thing. like, one day he would. He, my door was open. He just walked into my house, and, and you were like, "Who the fuck is this?" I thought he was like a stray because he didn't have a collar or anything, and so I just thought he was my cat. Um, yeah, you were like, "Well, I have a cat now." Yeah, but then fair we got him to the vet and found out he was microchipped. So, and I ended up getting my neighbor's number, and we like were texting about it. And he, he's an indoor outdoor because he just is so adventurous. Like he wouldn't be happy. Inside. I think like being inside and he really lets her know like Also he's let's be clear screaming this motherfucker is built like a tank. This yeah, he's a big huge. Cat. This is a predator cat. Yeah, he's huge and he's he not looks a like a small sphinx. cat. He's gorgeous. Skittles I love is him. The size of a car. Yeah, Skitt- <laughs> Skittles is really big. I didn't really realize how big he was. He's yeah, huge. He's big. Um but he made me want to have a cat cuz it was just so fun when he was at my house and um I think because he was indoor outdoor I like 
was already a little bit primed to be like, it's kind of sad to leave my cat inside. But I have had conversations with people being like, you can't let them out. Well, you, their lifespan is drastically shorter well, if you of car or coyote, car or coyote. Like it's like cats will live till to be like eighteen if you if they're just indoor, and they'll live to be like two to five years old if they're indoor outdoor. So fucked up. So and so that means that like I'm trying to find this in between, and I'm I'm leash training my cat. And your brother, Louie, actually just got me and uh, told me about an app that I just started using what? today. What's the app? Um, let me look what it's called. There's an app for anything nowadays. Okay, so like there's this little, and you can probably, <laughs> um, okay, so it's funny. called L Loomsters, L-U-M-S-T-E-R-S. Is it to link you and to then, other leash trained so cats the first in your step, area? So the first lesson that I'm on right now is like a clicker oh. lesson. So you, you have like a, oh, clicker, it's a clicker that's on the app. Yeah, I had that oh. when I was training blue. I kind of want a real one. Yeah, I have them. Um, you do? It's like a dollar. Oh, okay. Well, how uh, much was the app? Free? Um, like it's free. It's a free trial, oh. and then it's like sixty dollars for a year or something like that. The oh. the, the clicker um, clicker training is like a thing with animals. So yeah, so I decided I'm gonna try with button to like take him outside but only with me on a leash yeah. and the first time he, with I, you wearing the leash with me oh, yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, you're taking me. him outside but you only well he with is you on a leash. he is walking me because with cats you can't so far at least like you can't really direct him where to go at all hell no he he's free. gonna do his thing I um, don't give a shit yeah but he Looked like he was having some type of like neurological event the first time I put the harness on him. It was really, <laughs> it was really concerning. He like started walking only backwards, yeah, 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 and so, like lopsided. Like you put, you people, know, you should put this is cruel, <laughs> but you put tape on the ground and you have his feet go on the tape. <laughs> what? Oh, this is just a side from it's it. Just ways like, to them out. torture cats. People torture cats. Oh like, it, no! It's really. really Really they also funny. hate aluminum foil. Oh, so if you put aluminum foil on a countertop, there's like oh yeah, there's crazy videos of like a cat trying to jump up to get like a snack that's on the yeah. counter, but <laughs> they aluminum foil. They put aluminum foil on it. They literally, and I'm not kidding. This is the counter. They'll <sighs> jump up and go boing, and yeah. like they, Yowl they away. like instantly touch it. Is it panic the sound? and fly? I don't know. It's the way it makes their feet feel. Oh, they interesting. Fucking hate it. It's yeah. really cute and he really hates funny my trash bags. Sorry. Like anytime I'm like you're going like Pah. yeah, my well, dogs, just a big my dogs yeah. don't like scared, it. I get yeah, it. um, but it took us like probably at least a week, if not two weeks, to for him to be able to like realize that he could actually walk normally with on the, the harness yeah, on yeah, yeah. inside. That's cool. And then now we're going out every morning. In the backyard for like this is probably gonna help his life between half an hour oh. an hour. What do you mean? Like he's enrichment. Getting, yeah, he's getting enrichment. He's using his brain. Have you ever heard a cat that sees a bird? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why do they do that? I don't know. I think they're trying. To, I think it's like an imitation. <laughs> they're thing. like, I'm one of you. No, but I think it's also, to make a they go nuts. Also, have you guys ever heard a squirrel bark? Have you heard a squirrel growl? Yeah. Uh. Yes. I there is a there so is a funny to me. Yeah. No, like so like I'm getting to see my backyard. It's so fucking awesome to have a backyard. I'm just just saying I'm so yeah. grateful, very lucky. And um I'm getting to see it in a totally new way. And this has also been this kind of beautiful confluence of things because I got the cat right after my sisters got me binoculars for my birthday. So my cat is obsessed with birds and I am learning obsessed to bird. Birds. So I so it's a it's kind of a dream. Like I in the morning I Birding have my matcha assistant. Then I slap and then I put on my get my binoculars, get him on his leash, and then we go outside and we and we listen and we and we look. You are right on track. I am literally right <laughs> on track. You're right I'm on, on God's track. path. You're yeah. On God's and for some path, reason for I sure. imagine the binoculars to be attached to a bonnet the way you did that. Oh, I probably should have a bonnet. Just f to protect my face skin, but um, I, my I face skin. Yeah, yeah. I think that 
That's really cool. I also think having cool. having a cat outside if you're a bird enthusiast must be helpful because guess who's gonna see those little bitches before you do? Right. That little cl- clacking motherfucker is going <laughs> Yeah, what if you could take him birding with you other places? I know. Well that's the thing that I wanna do is like you just might have I would to love introduce to have him slowly. on like a hike or something. I'm he gonna seems try like and the type learn of the clicker dude first. Who'd be and then... in a car with his head out the window going, ah, I think no, he you... hates ah, you just might have to do it slowly. Yeah. If yeah. he's not anxious, like no, he's really brave. He just like takes time. He to... lets you pet his tu- his whole tummy. It's so fucking cute. Yeah, yeah. God, he but, rules. But I'm the downside of it. It's like when I'm outside with him, it feels completely worth it because it's just like so <laughs> yeah. fun and sweet and just watching him explore. But I am paying the price of like this cat is yelling at me the rest of the time that we're inside. To go outside. To go outside. Fuck mm-hmm. this shit. Like, maybe he's it needs become to be, a crackhead for outdoors. Maybe it needs to actually be a different time of day. What do you mean? <laughs> you, you start introducing it in the evening so no, you like, peace. No, like, he wakes up knows. remembering uh, yeah. outside. Like, he knows he about also it every could second be, of the he day. He could also, some cats are just loud. He's loud. Some cats also, like... Talkers. Just talkers. Yeah. And also the thing is, as you know, cats only make the sounds they do at us, at for us. us. Yeah, yeah. Like meowing is not I'm an I'm trying not to thing. respond because I don't want to encourage He's like, I yeah, know you probably... hear me, bitch. Like, yeah, literally. I like to talk to them. Yeah. You know, it's nice. Yeah. I'm, just all, I'm just literally always like, hello. He's like, you're speaking, I'm speaking hello. your language. He's yeah. Me- meowing for you. Yeah. And the, their right other sounds me. are like, Ugh. like that is the natural cat sound. Yeah. Like <laughs> when they say, when they do all that shit, and yeah. they go, kah, 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 kah. that's natural cat shit. <laughs> like that's what they're supposed to be sounding like. That is so Meowing weird is to imitate babies, so that they we bring them inside and take care of them. They're little fucking sociopaths. That is really it's literally weird. to imitate human babies, so that we take care of them. Otherwise, oh. they'd be going. Oh, no. Don't they also? Isn't there <laughs> like something with day. like a smell that they let that's off? The piss. That the piss that poison for the mind. Piss. It poisons your mind. It, dude. it changes. It's you like love there's them. literally a chemical, yeah, that goes off. You're like that's a baby. Anyway, I <laughs> and this like, is this is kind of savage to admit, but like. Okay, so when I got him at the shelter, they they said that the reason that he was surrendered was because of allergies. Oh, um, someone had allergies. Former owner. Yeah. I'm only yawning because I feel so safe. By the way. Yeah, no, I I am not taking it personally. Um, <laughs> but there is like a little bit of a dynamic of like you're waiting to see their personality. And yeah, I'm like, it's also because he's probably coming becoming more and more comfortable. Yeah, and also it's like if you're encouraging. I mean, I feel that way about Roxy. Yeah, where it's like. Dude's just like a different dog. Yeah, now I'm like just you be and... yourself, hun. Yeah, yeah. Cute. I think the allergy thing is it's called this person got a boyfriend who didn't want to. This have person a cat. got a boyfriend. Yeah. I I'm mean, sorry. It might also it's like sometimes allergies go or away and sometimes partner. they like don't. Yeah. Like if I had a cat right now, I mean, I would have to. It would probably. I don't know if I have the same immunity I did. Yeah, and you can't be. Or it's like Benadryl I can't. I could never day. have a dog like Abby. Yeah. Like those short haired dogs. I like. I get a rash. Wait, you gotta give your announcement to my um, sister's boyfriend who's probably listening to this podcast that he can't take Benadryl every day. You can't take Benadryl every day because <laughs> it leads to, they're finding out the same chemical in Benadryl and in NyQuil and in ZQuil. Oh, no. I mean, you can take, you can take it when sometimes, sick, but take it. using it in large amounts, um, they're linking it to early onset dementia. You hear that, Drew? Yeah, Drew, if you're listening, yeah, Drew. listen up. Should we do, yeah. should we do, um, yeah, like, we're one do spicy thing other? for the end? Rank your three Rank favorite bases. Rank. Wait, no, 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 rank no, 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 yeah. let's save this. I got, I got no, 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 let's, no, let's I said save rank this. The bases. Let's, we, this is a teaser of the of Fine, hierarchy if you, episode. If you want to sear us, sear us, sear it in your brain to see us rate things, tune in next week. Hey, honestly, this is actually a good call to action. Wow, I'm feeling inspired. Um, <laughs> people should comment things that they want us to rate. Oh yeah, people they should, should actually comment, comment things that they want us our opinions on. Yeah, just every so they're stuff rating like the review, to re- to, and yeah. then they're they're requesting or you're what leaving we're a five star review, and in your review, leave something for us to rate, not your review, because all the reviews we're gonna give five yeah. stars. You guys, are, you guys are very nice in the comments. Write something in your comment for us to review, like uh, like anything. Yeah, yeah. You could category. Put, you could put little slut water bottle. Uh-huh. This is five stars. So comment oh, cool. stuff you'd like for us to review on yeah. YouTube. Yeah, or something you'd want us to talk we about. Need to, or we need to hammer down like the language that we're using here because we're really flip flopping between rank, rate, 
and review. Okay, well, we're gonna, wait, we're, gonna, we're gonna wait to decide when we record this next episode. <laughs> I'm I like ranking because it just means like you need to give they, they're giving <laughs> us a few different, different things. things. We'll rank it. And they don't even have to be connected, but Fine. you just have to rank them from best to worst. Okay, we'll do okay, that. Okay, sure. Give us okay, a couple we'll things do that. To we're gonna do that next episode, which we're recording after this. And that <laughs> section is called that's rank. Rank or stank? <laughs> That's rank is the title of the episode. Um, That's great. Okay. Wait, but, where do we go? That's first fun. one, but the first one we're doing at the end of this Interactive episode together okay. is, okay, what is, is it? rank the bases. Like sex stuff? Y- yeah. Well, that's so easy. First base. Naomi has it. And what are the bases? First, you, you have to, you have to, like, Should we work just with do, your own Let's establish universal them. language for first this. First is a kiss. First is kissing. Second base is, But first is, is like, making out, right? No, or like, you know, but second base is what? Like, you want to establish? Yeah, Bo- yeah. Boobs. Okay, first titty grab. kissing, a second titty grab. Titty grab or, or physical groping of some sort. But it's not third, genital, right? I, like I mean, I don't know. It's like just groping. Blowjob. No, I thought it third was is dumb. fingering. No, third is dumb. I mean, uh, then what? Uh, I mean, actually, wait. Third. See, this is why we need to establish universal language. This shit is confusing. I, but then I don't is, know if is, it's like lame of me to say this, but. But oral sex but, is sex? Oral sex but is that, sex. But, that, but it's that, all that, sex, that, by that's, the way. Okay, Kissing is sex. Is okay. you, Guess what? You're at home. Let me tell you, blowjob. Your oral base. sex is sex, but I don't think when people established the bases, people thought oral sex was sex because people wanted to get oral sex. I just you think that fingering deserves its own base. I th- okay, Oral? I agree. Fine. Fourth base. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fourth, it was, it's three and a half before Fifth home. Fifth base. Home run. Oh, yeah. Well, that's actually right. Okay. What? Kit, making out, groping. <laughs> Third base is fingering. Uh-huh. Fourth base is getting and receive, getting and giving dumb. Yeah. And, and then by the way, home run and by the is way, sex. And by the way, I am 31 years old. Just by the way. Totally, dude. Yeah. You know I mean, <laughs> that's a, I'm a person of the. 31 I got, experience I got, I got, as well. I got, I, got, I got to piss like my pants are on fire. <laughs> okay, so rank the bases then and then you can oh, piss. Oh, I forgot I had the answer. <laughs> Let's just, okay, yeah. I have mine. Wait. Go, yeah, I'm curious about what Katie's okay, are. Everyone, Kate, everyone just Katie's has to gonna say. Katie's going to want, I know Katie's base. Kate, yeah. <laughs> what's my first, what's my number one? Your number one isn't actually a part of the basis. Your number one is when oh, you're getting God. to gyrate on somebody's, you get to grind against somebody. Wow, you know me better than I know myself. Because I wasn't even thinking that. <laughs> that's that's sexual, true. By the way, we should add that to the lesbian <laughs> Fine, bases. That's lesbian. Gay <laughs> base. Yeah, yeah. Wait, that's grand, a foul grand ball. slam that's is foul. humping someone's thigh. No, I feel like it's a foul ball because you're just jizzing before, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Damn. <laughs> that's a way to nut instantly before you even get anywhere. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Clothed, clothed humping. Clothed humping. That foul shit ball. rocks. Um, so you're still making contact. <laughs> By three, the way, we're four, open. Don't demonetize us. This is the end of the episode. Three. <laughs> it's, for me, it's either no three, even four, one, this two, or three, one, four, two. Three, Five, four, wait, three, two. This. I let one three, go. Three, three, oral. That's, ba- that's one best kiss. Or, or like most important to least. Fuck me. Three, one, four, <laughs> two. Yeah. Huh. They said three, four, one, two. <laughs> or three, four. It's either, it's either of three, those. Three, four. <laughs> So I'm wait. with you. That's wait, my wait, exact. Wait, wait, wait. Which I, one? Is four, is four sex? Three. Three, is three's one, oral. four, two, or three, yeah, four, you're, one, two? Are, you're, three? Is three oral? Is three, three oral? is fingering. Oh, three's fingering. What's oral? Four? <laughs> no, no you're going to be four. Oh, yeah, 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 yours is going to be four. four <laughs> I, know, I know both of your sex. Four, <laughs> home, four home run, making out, foul ball. And fingering is last, but fingering, shout out, it's still fun. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. It's Three. all fun behavior. Huh. You know, hey. Wait, so we're actually opposite. Oh, opposite. I got confused. You guys are. Oh, I'm sorry. You guys are, though. Yeah. Fingering is first for you. That's why yeah, we never we, we knew this. Um, fuck, God. Bro. I mean, no, it's peace. That's not a negative. <laughs> it's peace in these streets. She's looking at me, shaking her head. She's like, you, you never fingered me. <laughs> you <laughs> never <laughs> fingered me. <That's laughs> you never fingered me enough. <laughs> Yeah, where is it? Wow. What about eating ass? This has been the most, Which like, one is that? Most like normal domestic like home episode, and then really <laughs> crazy. Is, 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 <laughs> is eating? Uh, yeah, this was from Head Dumb. Is eating ass? Is, is eating ass, is eating is ass the same as blowjob? When, you're, when, you're, in the stadium, when not... you're in the stadium and you catch a ball yeah, yeah. as a fan, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's, fan, that's a fan ball. <laughs> 
Fan balls <laughs> eating ass. Yeah, I, I don't mean, know where like, that's at for no, me. No, eating ass is when um, <laughs> eating ass is that those little. Is it guys like, my, my question is, it's like, what do you what are you actually meaning? Like, is you mean like what gets let, me uh, off the most? Most pitch. important to least important. What is that? What is important mean? I I don't have to talk anymore. It's your <laughs> time to rank the bases. <laughs> but I mean, like God, it's just information. I don't know, man. Joe's the only person that they want to know this for, so go ahead. No, they're thinking about all the eating out that you (laughs) didn't do to Katie, or did do to Katie, that Katie wanted it to be different. (laughs) I'm not, I'm no comment, because... Well, really making me laugh. Too Uh, tender. It's okay. It's okay. (laughs) What is too tender? Let's not. <laughs> Wait, fine. I don't really know though. Joe, Joe you need to say the numbers, we or we're not ending the episode. Two. I knew it was gonna one. Be two. Yeah. I have- Keep bleep all that out. <laughs> Someone tickling your, ch- your maybe bum like, cheeks. Maybe I like my butt cheeks tickled. Two, one, four, three. <laughs> Over two, the pants. Two, one. Is four oral? Yeah. Two, one. Damn. Three, four. Is that the same as you? Good job. No, what's, I'm just proud of three, you for sorry? doing it. Oh my god. <laughs> three's, three, three's finger. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thanks. Well, wait, wait, we never put like home run. I put home run on mine. Fine. Two, two, two. This is awesome, two, by the way. Home run, one, three, four. <laughs> <laughs> Sick. And Wait, let's write a review. We established <laughs> universal rules and then forgot them What's over and run? over again. Dildo? No, I thought we. S- oh yeah, I guess. Okay. Yeah. I don't. W- but I feel like you need to. People need to guess. Oh, that I didn't put that in my like. Role. What? Who's doing what? Like, yeah, yeah. You know? Well, you got to leave some things up pretty to clear. Yeah, yeah I mean, everybody it. knows if they know. <laughs> Everyone knows who's doing what. Actually, Katie's a conundrum. <laughs> You know, well, no, then I'm now not, they know I'm not because I'm literally shouting what? it from the rooftop. Yeah, that Katie, Katie loves <laughs> saying it's me conundrum. with the penis. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Keep you've, that. You've, it's nobody me. cares. Wish. Nobody cares. Like, nobody wants <laughs> Wait, we that gotta, to be we true. We gotta fucking finish this okay. episode. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> this was awesome. See, I said something spicy at the end. And you Fine, guys really we got We gotta believe in more spice for the next episode. So catch okay. us next time for a hierarchy lesson. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Hierarchy lesson. A lesson well, we in rate what is should be on top. And yes. Who should deserve to be on top? Who deserves to be on the bottom? Join us next bottom. week to learn who's the most right. And it's me, because my rule's my way. <laughs> Thanks, we'll Josette. see about that. Anyway, let's hear a review. All right. This is a five star <laughs> review from Katie underscore three two one. It's Katie. And it's called <laughs> Named My Dog Joe. <laughs> Fantastic pod. In July, I adopted my dog. She just turned mm. one and she's awesome and perfect. <gasps> she didn't have a name and I was between like one million names before picking her up. Could not decide. Then in the night, the perfect name came to me, Josette. I oh think my it had God. <laughs> I think Sorry. it had gotten into my head that Joe's Insta handle is Jojo Love Dog. Yeah. I don't know. She looked like that you is... a bit to me. We call <gasps> her Joe. Doggy. And God, what a name! Thank you for the inspiration, Josette. You're very cool, and my dog thinks so too. Wow. What What's type the of dog? dog look like? No picture. Damn. Wow. <laughs> That's well, so shit. cute, though. So we can't rate this with finality. Oh, congratulations but do, yeah, on your new dog. dog. Five stars. I would say, um, like Josette, don't directions. eat that shit. Yeah, yeah. I mean. <laughs> Yeah. Sort of get, the same Josette, stuff. Get, get, your 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 same stuff. <laughs> get, get your I'm curious if you call your Joe, dog. get that out of your mouth. What do what do we call <laughs> Josette as other nicknames? Joe? You call me. I call you Jojo. Yeah, you call Joe me Gina. Joe. Yeah. yeah, fuck that. Sorry, but <laughs> you can call your dog Gina. Gina. Joe Gina. Joe Gina. Joe Gina. Till you get right, mama. Anyways. Go till you get right, go mama. Rate, go rate, review, and subscribe to our podcast, Gayotic, on Spotify, Apple Music, and Pod Chris. Po- what? Pocket, 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 Pocket Cast, my new favorite podcast yeah. app. Also, comment some stuff on YouTube, but only comment nice things nice about things, how please. we look. Not how we look. Don't talk about that at all. <laughs> talk Unless- about just nice stuff. And go buy some merch or something. We we need we need it. Yeah, and yeah. let us know like what you want us to talk about if you don't want us to be talking about what we're talking about us, in the backyard. Don't let but... us know what you want us to talk about. We're not no. I know, but what if it's a good concept? I, I agree you, with you, like in theory, because people are gonna say stop talking over each other. No, why no, are you guys the, so, so loud when fine. you have no guests? no? So this, this? so this is let it. Don't know. talk about how we're talking. Just 
Give us topics. <laughs> Let us know what you want us to talk topics. about. If it's yes. what we want to talk about. Yeah, if it's constructive. We only we Give only appreciate suggestions. Yeah. That's great. Only constructive oh, criticism. Now you like the idea. Yeah, I think you had to frame it in the right way. It's okay. Anyways, okay. we're at peace here. We're eating each Great other job. out. Have a good night, guys. Love you, Katie. <laughs> Love you, Joseph. <laughs> Love you, Naomi. And we're gonna yeah, like Joseph, we're all gonna eat each other out. Awesome. That was a headgum podcast.